For your health and safety, smoking is not allowed in Chicago and Air International Airport. Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Britton, and I'm the professor for this class. And I'm at Chicago O'Hara Airport. Where I'm on my way home from a trip to Baltimore, where I was with about 110, 115 pastors, teaching them about the role of leadership of a pastor and what all that means today. So in this class, we're going to be talking about pastoral leadership a lot. So let's start off with with a question. When you hear the term pastoral leadership, what do you think? What are some of the images that come to mind? Let me roll a video that really shows what pastoral leadership looks like. What do you notice in that video? There's one shepherd, and there's a whole bunch of sheep. And they follow that shepherd wherever that shepherd goes, no matter what. In this class, you're going to learn that leaders lead. You're going to learn a whole lot more about how to lead a church than how to pastor a flock. There's a lot of reasons for that, not the least of which is the state of the church in the U.S. I don't know if you're aware of some of the, the rather uh, troubling statistics that are um, available today, but let's just run a few by you. Do you know that 41 churches in America close every single day? Every day. They close up forever, lock their doors, and the buildings are sold to fund the denomination, or to uh, be sold as bed and breakfasts, or craft stores, or um, I saw one that was an apartment just recently. It happens to be Sunday today. I'm on my way home, and it's... Um, it's, it's about 11 o'clock. Today, 14.8% of Americans bothered to go to some sort of a church service over this weekend. 14.8%. That's like nobody. And the fastest growing church in the United States, if you will, church, is the church of none. This is a growing group of people who say, uh, when, when polled, they say they have no religious affiliation at all. That's a growing group. In other words, people are giving up their Christianity for this church of none. And there's one more statistic I want to share with you. And that is 20% of Americans today have no faith foundation whatsoever. They've never set foot in a church, in a synagogue, in a mosque, in anything. They've not gone there. They've not been raised. They've not, they have no experience whatsoever. That's 20%. And that number is growing rapidly. And the younger the person the more likely they are to have no faith experience whatsoever. And so, so let me ask you two questions that I'd like for you to reflect on in the discussion. First, what does it say about the church leadership of the past? Where have we done well? What have we not done so well? How have we got into this place, if you will? And the second, what are the statistics? What are the implications for the future of the church? I look forward to seeing you over the next several weeks and uh, interacting with you. We'll see you soon.